All right, guys, welcome back to TheRecordingSolution.com, How to Mix and Master a Song. My name is Scott Wiggins. We are on video number six, I believe, and we are going to look at the snare drum. If you haven't watched the videos, the previous videos, go to the playlist, How to Mix and Master a Song on the Recording Solution YouTube channel, and I'll have links to it at the end of the video and probably probably below this video. But this is how to mix a snare drum after everything we've already done. So let's listen to what we have right now. All right, so I'm going to pop everything up into mono like we discussed last time except for better EQ moves. And right now we have a top snare, a bottom snare. I will mute one and show you what they sound like individual so that's the bottom snare you're listening to right now here's the top snare here's the both together alright so let's start with EQ so what I want to do is kind of roll off some of the low end information that's not being used and just building up track by track if the snare doesn't use anything below 100 hertz so let's get rid of it all right i'm gonna try to find some frequencies that are sounding bad to my ears by boosting and sweeping and then when I find something I don't like I'll cut it out so let's do that with the low mids here and see if we can find anything All right, so I found a, a ringing I didn't like. So I took it out right here at, a, at a 234 hertz. And then at about one point, or sorry, 154 hertz, it's kind of a, a fatness of the snare just to, makes it a little bit, little bit more meatier. So I boosted just a little bit there. And then I went over to about 7.27 area and on each side of that frequency. Um, just boosted a hair to try to get a little bit more snap out of that snare. So let's uh, listen to it and I'll AB it by bypassing this on and off. Sounds pretty good. Let's add a little compression. Stock compressor in Pro Tools. I don't want to totally squash the snare, but I want to tame the transients just a little bit. So I'm going to do like a medium-ish attack. I don't want to go too slow of attack because the, the transi transients will be a little bit too much. So I'm trying to tame them just a little bit. kind of a train beat so I don't want the, the release to be too slow because I want it to the compressor to reset fast enough to, to get the next hits 
So maybe a medium fast release. Let's do maybe four to one ratio. Let's see what happens. So if you look on the harder hits, that's when you're getting the most gain reduction, probably in between three and six dBs, but it's really not compressing on the little uh, train, the little softer hits of the snare, the, the ch -ch 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 -ch, but when he's hitting the hard transients, that's what I'm trying to tame. So then now we're bringing up the volume of the softer hits to kind of better match the harder hits and just kind of even out the performance of the snare a little bit here. And then I like to put a little bit of kind of tape saturation on there just to tame it a little bit, uh, give it a little bit more analog feel a little bit more transient control here so let's go to uh let's see here virtual harmonics here we go let's see what this does Gives it a little bit of something, very subtle. All right, let's pop it back out into stereo. And we'll AB the plugins on and plugins off. When they're grayed, they are on. When they are blue, they're off. So here we go. Made it sound a little bit better than what it was. Let's move on. That is how to mix and master a song in your home studio. Snare drum, mixing snare drum. Um, please go watch the previous video so you get caught up to where we are right now. Um, you can also download the audio files to this exact song for free. And I'll have the link at the end of the video and below. 
and that way you can import these audio files into your DAW of choice. They will line up perfectly, and then you can mix along with me so you're not just watching. You can actually do what I'm doing and try to beat my mix, which I encourage you to do. If you have any questions on anything else I'm doing, comment below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, comment, share, do whatever you need to do to make sure you're you're watching all these videos and I have tons more videos over on the on the YouTube channel so go check it out. But thanks for watching Scott from the recordingsolution.com. We'll see you in the next video.